What is up guys? My name is Torrid and we're back with another fishing video. Today we are on the Bow River. We just got through the deep freeze. It was like minus 35 for the last week. Finally, it's gonna be above zero today and we're down at the Bow. So we got a couple places we're gonna try, but hopefully we get into some fish. Let's go. Slide the whole thing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, and he's down. It's your first time, buddy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we've gotten to a few spots already. First spot wasn't very productive, so we actually moved out of the city more. We went more east of Calgary, but uh, that was a mistake because there wasn't even much river to try to fish it. I took my drone out and got a couple shots of how frozen over the river was. So then we decided that the best thing to do would be to go into Calgary more where the water's warmer. And hopefully we'll have some luck here. Perfect fucking way, dude. Come on, come on, white fish. You want to lead him up or down? Steve just hooked up. We're about to try to land the fish. That's a sick one, buddy. Oh, dude, check that out. Nice and deep. How was it? Just up along the slow part here? Yeah, real slow. Real slow, San Juan. Ticking on the bottom. Just up in here. There's the G's. Nice. Um, do I have to open this back panel? All right guys, looks like just a white fish. It's been quite slow, but uh, we've moved a couple spots. One of the spots we went to was absolutely fucked up. It's on a Copper John. This is the third spot we've gone to so far. Uh, it's quite slow, but we've got into a couple fish along this bank here.
been the most productive day today, but we thought we would share some tips from our perspective in order to help you guys get some more fish. So here's a couple tips on how to fish the Bow River in winter. So the fish are definitely in the slow, deep water. You're gonna wanna be ticking off the bottom, so the indicator's gotta be as high as possible. You're gonna want those nymphs to just be bouncing off the bottom because they're really slow, their metabolisms are slow. We just got out of that deep freeze, so they're looking to eat. But as of now, we're wanting to just slowly drift the nymph along the bottom. Be careful of these ice shelves. Most of the time you can walk up even farther than you could normally. Gets you into some sweet spots to fish. When you're throwing your nymphs, you want to be fishing first the close water right off the edge. So, you know, three to five feet and you just want to carry that drag as long as you can. If you can get 10 feet even wider out of that, that's perfect. And then you just want to keep resetting it anytime you get a tug, anytime that nymph drops, which will be a lot, hopefully, because you should be right on the bottom. Give it a yank, because you never know. 